If you're looking for the absolute cheapest coins right now in Madden 22, head on over to AOEAH.com and use code Poodle at checkout. Don't miss out. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over a few things. We got some Ultimate Kickoff news, Ultimate Kickoff reveals, crazy Ultimate Kickoff reveal, apparently. And of course, guys, we have the Poodle Squad shout out. We got the last chance for Tyreek Hill today and a few things I do want to go over. Now, before we get into the video, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, if you want to be shout out in the Poodle Squad, shout out. All you gotta do is like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course, turn on that noti bell. If you're new to the channel, guys, again, you may have missed all the other stuff from yesterday. Free Tyree kill that you can get as of tonight. I'm gonna go into that set real quick just to show you guys that so you guys know what I'm working with here. Now, before we get into it, shout out to today's Poodle Squad member, mythical underscore gamer2556. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thanks so much for showing support each and every day. But yeah, it's about it for that. Let's head on over, guys. So, first thing. The final stream is tonight. So if you guys don't... Okay, here's the thing, though. You only get four tokens total from watching yesterday. Now, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, there was a time where you get one token at 15 minutes. And I believe you have to watch, like, most of the stream to get the final token now. It's tonight at 7 p.m. They're going to be doing reveals as well as the stream. So remember, if you want to find the Ultimate Kickoff Master, and pro, that's, I'm assuming that's what they're going to be revealing, it will be tonight at, throughout the stream. It could be any point. They could do, like, you know, the second game. 9 o'clock, they'll reveal it then. You never know. So I wouldn't wait around for it. I would just have your phone ready with some battery and be ready for the, any kind of Twitch drop here. Now, that's that. So guys, if you didn't get any tokens last night, sadly, you're out of luck for Tyree Kill. And I'm going to show you the set. The set requires three tokens, which means you only have to watch technically 15 minutes the first day and the full thing the second day or the full thing the first day and 15 minutes the second day. Or you can do them all. Now, if you do them all, it does give you one extra on which you can put into a Twitch drop pack. It really doesn't matter. So I already have two of my Tyree kill. So tonight, all you have to do, if you have two already, you really only have to watch for 15 minutes tonight. But again, guys, be vigilant. I'd watch the whole thing. You know EA. Knowing them, they'll change up the timer on the last day. They'll glitch out and only give you one. Watch the whole thing. Now, you don't have to actually watch what I did yesterday was. I was actually out all night. I just loaded it up to stream from my, I called my dad, had him go to my computer, had him coming over, load it up put it in another tab, mute the thing, went a whole night, came on this morning, had all my stuff. So that's a definitely a good thing to do. Just call it, call a brother, a sister, a friend, a spouse, a parent, anyone just have them do it for you if you're not around or load it up yourself. Very simple to do. So anyways, yeah, tonight's your last chance, guys. If you need two tokens, make sure you watch tonight because that's the only way you're going to get them. That is it for the Tyreek Kill for this time. You can get them probably in a later uh, stream when they do the next set of players and stuff, but you're going to want that for the new player. Also, Tyree Kill won't be as usable or good by the time they do the next set of games and events. So, I definitely recommend you get this done now. So that's it for that. If you guys need any help on how to link this and how to get your Tyree Kill, watch my video from yesterday. I did go a whole little guide going over how to get it and how to redeem it. And make sure you do claim your stuff. You could have watched it, but you have to actually go onto Twitch, go to your profile, and scroll down to Drops, and click there, and you see you have to claim them all. Make sure you claim them. And then again, it may not, it may take like, it took like 45 minutes for my account to actually get them. So, don't think that you're glitched out. It says there specifically. That drops may take a while to actually get to you. So make sure you guys do go ahead and claim them. If you don't claim them, you're not going to get them. And if even if you do claim them, they could take a while. So make sure you guys are starting that process. Now, enough of that, guys. Let's head on over. Let's see some of the ultimate kickoff reveals. Now, ultimate kickoff comes out tomorrow around 1030 Eastern time. And then, of course, you know, on Thursday, we also have two LTDs tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. It's LTD Thursday. We also have, guys, tonight, like I said, but at some point throughout the stream, we do have the reveals for ultimate kickoff i don't know if they'll reveal the whole thing they may just drop a master which is pretty crazy already said it's nuts so i assume we have some crazy master that's kind of my hope but let's check out the new kickoff players and go over a few things that i do want to go over guys and again stay tonight if i if there's time tonight and it's posted at a decent time i will get the ultimate kickoff master reveal which again i assume to you guys at a later time let's head over to the screenshots of the kickoff players so guys don't forget we do have the veteran reveals i'll go over to the auction real quick to show you some of the veteran stuff we do have some pretty good players i mean I liked one of them a lot. If you guys didn't see the veteran reveals, they were revealed last night. They were revealed earlier this morning. But veteran cards, flashbacks, heavyweights are looking good this year. I like that. That's very positive for the game. We have Jamie Collins, one of the one of the worst ones. I really don't like him. I'm going to go over them quick. 85 speed, 80 to excel, 85 block shed. That's really it. Too slow for my liking. Six foot three, though. That's not bad. Um, I'm going to go over the ones I like as well. Joe Hayden. Pretty good upgrade over his 85. Free one, though, from Superstar KO. 87 speed, 80 to excel. Good zone, man. Impress 88, 86, 87. So, with powered up with some strat cards, he can get 90 man with 88 speed. That's pretty usable. I mean, that's not horrible. I've seen some worse cards. I've seen some bad cards from veterans. We have DJ Swearinger, which actually is a pretty good linebacker if you put him at linebacking spots. Uh, powered up, he'll have 89. He'll have 90 hit power. With the right um, card, he can get 90 zone, 90 hit power with 87 speed, 91 excel, 5 foot 10. Not a bad card at linebacker, of course. I don't really like him at safety, although he's not horrible, but he's not horrible at all, in my opinion. We have Sammy Watkins. 
Decent card. He has 88 speed. Um, so he'll get 89 speed powered up. He'll also have 90 deep route running and 90 spec. So he's a very, very average card. He's not bad. Like he gets decent speed. You know, he's 89 speed. That's t similar to basically Tyreek. Plus he gets 90 deep route running. So he's really not bad at all for a uh, veteran card. And then finally, guys, the best one of the bunch, which I think a lot of people are actually interested in, is Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Graham at tight end gets an 88 speed powered up and chemmed up. Well, strategy cards again. So that means he'll get he'll be a 90 overall with 88 speed, just as fast as Pitts, six foot seven, which means he's like one of the tallest players in the game. Also gets 90 catching, gets 91 spec, which again is better than Pitts because Pitts didn't get the catching. He doesn't get the route running as well, but he also is 265 pounds, which is super big in terms of this year's Madden. Going to be the heaviest player in the field, going to get a lot of power animations, and he can air truck, which is important, and he gets a 90 stiff arm. Guys, he's going to be a beast with the ball in his hands. He really is. But yeah, that's about it for the video. Uh, in terms of veterans, let's send it over to the kickoff stuff. All right, guys, so the first player we have is Matthew Stafford for the Rams. Now, it seems, guys, like Ultimate Kickoff, for some reason, they really like doing players that have switched teams, at least for the heroes, not, not necessarily the master they did. So, Matthew Stafford did come from the Lions, been there his whole career, went to the Rams this year. I actually think he's going to have a pretty good year in terms of fantasy and real life, so if you guys are into that stuff, you know, take that as you will. 70 speed for Matt Stafford, 90 throw power, though. It's a typical Stafford card. Stafford always has two things. He has bad speed, crazy high throw power usually good deep accuracy everything else is low 80 and average right that's kind of been the thing always with him right that's kind of always been how they do handle matt stafford cards now throwing the runs not gonna be great guys he's gonna be like he's gonna be like a pat mahomes pat mahomes s build right he's gonna have the throw power the, the just pretty good accuracy no much not much throw on the run 70 speed is this card usable yeah he's usable on a lion steam team ram steam team i mean you if you want just straight throw power and a chance at some good abilities matt stafford your guy I personally like the mobile quarterbacks this year. Like last year wasn't much of a mobile year. This year feels like we're going back to that mobile mesh, like that mobile meta because the way the ends come around, the way that the ends aren't capable of containing well. Like if you guys have played regs, it's harder to see in Mutt right now because of speed. If you play regs guys with Lamar Jackson, QB contain doesn't stop Lamar Jackson. You literally just have to run around. Like you just have to run backwards and around them. He's too fast. Yes, the only thing we're running around them means that the other rest of the team has time to adjust, the user to get to you. But I'm telling you, you can outrun it. You can outrun contain. You can run up the middle. Um, linemen just don't get off. They can get off their blocks. They don't take great angles in the backfield. It's just a year where right now, I mean, this can be patched. But in the, mo in the moment, mobile quarterbacks have an advantage. It's very clear versus a non-mobile versus mobile. You don't even need a skate artist that this year. A skate artist is glitchy. It's great. But this year's not like you're a complete slug if you don't have it. So it doesn't even mean that you need escape artists either. So anyone with speed is still usable. That's just my take on that in terms of that. Now, that's Matthew Stafford, guys. Next, of course, he's good. But we have Will Fuller, who I actually like a lot a lot better. He's actually pretty good. He's like a little budgety Tyree kill. You know what I mean? Like, he's not going to be as fast, but he's still going to be pretty good. Um, now, Ty now, Will Fuller has the Rams and the Texans. Sorry, the Dolphins and the Texans as a steam team potential for you guys who are wondering. He just came over this offseason. Uh, I believe he suspended one game for PED or something. I forget what it was. But totally, they can be powered up, of course. These are going to be the heroes for the ultimate kickoff, by the way, if you're wondering. So there's going to be a master and probably like two to five, probably four if my gift had to guess, ultimate uh, kickoff heroes that go into the sets, create the master, and you usually get back maybe two is not, maybe all four, maybe only three, maybe one, right? So 90 speed, powered up. He's going to be pretty good. So he's got 82 jumping, 86 catching, 81 catching traffic, 82 spec, 82 short, 85 medium, 88 deep route running. Powered up and chemmed up guys with strategy cards. He will have a 90 deep route running if you put the right strat card on him. If you don't have speed ones and you have something you could use like that. And he'll have 91 speed. So we'll be borderline like the free Tyreek kill. So in my opinion, I'd rather just watch the stream tonight, get the free Tyreek kill, toss him in and be done with it. But of course, not everyone is going to get the Tyreek kill. Not everyone remembered. Not everyone knew about it. So in that case, Wolf is a pretty decent sub. But again, you do need the strategy card to get into the 90 deep when Tyreek kill starts with it already. Plus the plus one speed on him, right? They'll be equal speed once powered up, though, which costs some training. I prefer the Tyreek kill, in my opinion. You know, they're both not. Then Wolf is not the tallest. He's not the craziest physical wise. He's going to be very similar to Tyreek kill. Just that he's going to be a card that you have to pay for and Tyreek kill's not, right? So again, not a bad card. But remember, they don't reveal the best stuff. They reveal usually the worst stuff. And these cards aren't even bad. So. I suspect we're going to have a pretty good reveal later, so stay tuned later. Well, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. If you haven't already, comment down below Poodle Squad if you guys want to be shouted out. Like the video, and of course, be subbed. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.